What's up everybody, this is Steven once again and I'm here for another video. Before we move on, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the like button and share this to your friends who are interested to keto and to start the ketogenic diet. And again, I want to thank you for supporting the channel. We are already almost 11,000 subscribers, so thank you so much guys. And I found out a very amazing way, if you are a foreigner or if you are a ketogenic dieter in the Philippines, who want to go to a restaurant that can cater to the ketogenic diet, well, I found a store or a restaurant in Cebu and I know that you'll be able to enjoy this food because it is in Joni's Chicken and it is very affordable. But watch the video, it's a vlog form so that you will know how I did it. Here's the video. So guys, this is the item, this is the hot pot from Joni's restaurant, Joni's Chicken. And there are a lot of branches uh, all around Cebu City, in the malls, in Esther Ayala. And we found out about this around three months ago. And this is the hot pot. You cook things in it, you cook the meat, the vegetables, and this is served with fire and the liquid is already a mixture of like a, it's like a soup you guys. And the muswa, the noodle, is not good for keto, so they have these ingredients or like the things that you cook into the soup, okay? So the cabbage is good. The white ones are fish balls, not good for keto also. We have lean and carrots and scallions. Uh, the carrots are not really good for keto if you eat a lot of them. Okay, so <laughs> Melda is here now. This is the dried garlic. And this is really nice. It really adds a boost of the taste when you add it into the soup. This is the jalapeno chili sauce. Our mixture is like oil with jalapeno and chili and we also have another garlic okay. with oil Donna? this is local okay. garlic you guys and it's just minced garlic i'm not really sure but i think it is garlic i smelled it it's garlic so yeah my son and i just, uh, and also the family brought us also there we just ate here yep and this is the Hot pot, you have to bring it to a boil first. Look at that. Amazing how it boils and you know the aroma is really good at this time. And first thing you do, get your tongs and then you put the cabbage, the chopped cabbage. Be careful not to mess with the miswa noodles. There, so you just put it there one by one all the ingredients it's a very simple uh, thing to do uh, and very very few ingredients so the cabbage and now we add the carrots of course I'm not the only one eating this so my mother-in-law my wife and even my son is gonna no, eat no, no, this so they would appreciate some carrots but again carrots if you eat a lot of them in one go may not be good for keto. It has okay, a okay, higher right. uh, sugar and carb content. Oh, yeah. Just look it's it up. On the green one, the green and one. now we are going to, so my son here <laughs> is trying to help me because he's also, he, he really like thinks he's a very one, big person one. now, but the green one, the green so one. he's just trying to, he's just curious how we do it. So Very he's good. adding it, this is okay. his hand trying I'll to help rest, me. Okay? And of course, it's always, it's always good to bring family with you because that's a point of keto, right? And now, uh, no, keto is all about being healthy and being able yeah. to enjoy life with your family. I think that's the bottom line. So my son is now adding the fish balls. Again, fish Another balls, 
not really good for keto but again i'm not the only one who's gonna eat so we just so my my son just putting everything in there so he's really enjoying it you guys so this is again this is also good because i don't know about you i really want to cook and sometimes we appreciate dishes that are already cooked for us but there's also this sense of uh, I don't know, maybe maybe pride or you know, it's no, just no, a no, good no. feeling to be able to, in a way, cook your own food. And now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna at this point, I'm trying to add the garlic, the, the dried garlic or the roasted dried garlic, into the bowl of the soup. It really adds to the flavor. And I don't know why I'm using the tongs like this. I should have just, you know, taken the container and just poured everything there. It really is more delicious if you add more of it. So eventually later on, I'm gonna add. So miswa soup is not really good for keto. It's full of starch. And here's my son again trying to put some garlic into and you know and you know he's just playing here guys so uh you could excuse my son how he's you, just three you, years old go. and as much as possible uh, if it's not really something that is no, very no, 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 no. messy we try to let him do things so yeah because it also adds to his confidence as a person okay so i at this point i just place the oil garlic oil i think into the bowl it really is a wonder how the mixture or these sauces adds to the whole thing uh, the the description i would be able to give to you guys on how how the soup tastes is that remember when you're like when you have flu or when you are fatigued and you just need that amazing salty soup in your mouth and in your system this is it you guys because if I had flu when I ate this, I would automatically just get well right away. So you bring it to a boil. Uh, amazingly, the fire under the flame doesn't really go out. So after this, uh, later, I, I had to call the sales lady or the attendant the waitress to take out the thing away from us because there's still fire. So this is it, you guys. You just bring it to a boil and really allow the ingredients, the carrots, the cabbage, the meat even, to cook in the bowl. And now I'm just trying to put everything in the bowls. There. Okay, so that's my mother-in-law. And then I put some in Guadas, or my wife's bowl too. Okay? So I tried to, this is really good for three to four persons because I had like three goes, three bowls, bowl full of soup, but yeah, because there are only three of us and Luca doesn't really eat that much yet because he's still small, but yeah, I think I had two or three, two and a half bowls of the soup. So of course we have to share because I'm not the only one eating this, okay? So, yeah. I re really recommend this to you guys. I really recommend that you go to Joni's and just request and order the hot pot because it is really tasty. I really assure you it is really tasty and it will really, you know, in keto, we need a, a little bit more salt and, you know, uh, more flavor because we need that in our system. And this is me trying to taste it there and my cell phone just fell
So guys, I hope that you like the video. It is really amazing. It's so tasty, if you, especially if you want spicy and you want something that's really salty. I hope that you get to go and visit Joni's. I'm not sponsored by the way, but I'm just sharing to you guys what I found so that you, it will be able to help you uh, sustain your ketogenic diet, okay? So again, remember to get the life that you want and to get the health that you deserve. Remember to stay keto Filipino. Bye-bye.